and, and now just one more thing. It's the it's the bit of the video where I have to do the YouTube things and I go, hey, why don't you like the video? If you haven't subscribed, subscribe, but leave us a comment. Tell us what you think. And, uh, you know, and, you know, if you, if, if, if you like me enough and you really want to make the channel grow, you know, uh, there's ways to support the channel in the, in, in the description below. So uh, please, please do that if you so feel inclined. Uh, I would be ever so grateful, uh, and and thank you, thank you for all 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 that you're doing, even if you just hate one. Hello, people out there in the void. How you doing today? Welcome to the Shaken Fist. You can see that I've come suited and booted uh, for today's occasion because today we're talking. Today we're starting a little series on on Matt Powell, and when we're talking about the cream of the Christian crop, we really have to come out, you know, and and really put out our our best, you know, our Sunday best, even. <laughs> Ah, excellent, excellent. Ah, <laughs> uh, but, but but in all seriousness, before we begin, uh, over the past weekend, I I I I reached a hundred subscribers. So thank all of you for subscribing, and I must be doing something at least a little bit right. Maybe I'm not. I don't know. I'm enjoying it anyway. I hope you all are too, and and apparently you are. Uh, stop jerking each other off, and let's just get to it, shall we? Hey. If I was to tell you that a rock appeared in this room that I'm filming in, from nothing, you would say that I am not a valid source of information. That I've bought into a lie. What if I were to tell you that out of the 12,000 plus gods and religions that there are on this planet, that I have found the correct one, you would say, maybe I'm not a correct source of information. Unless, of course, I'm referring to the religion that you're speaking about. You can tell that I mean business because I have worn my tie and I have my finest, my finest jacket on. I have come to, to sit at my desk and prepare you. The of knowledge that you are about to receive and you can tell that I mean business because I have worn my tie. I'm speaking in a somber tone, slow, slightly morose. See how I gesture and talk like I'm some sort of middle manager giving a performance review that I am serious and I indeed mean business and the words I'm saying truly come from the heart. And you can see by my vague gesticulations that it's very, it's very important to me that you understand what sort of message I'm pushing to you so you can receive me. <laughs> right, fuck this. This, this code's too hot. Well, that's exactly what atheism is. Oh, what? No! What, a lie? You say it's a lie! Oh, ah, oh, oh, oh. It's the idea that Everything could have appeared from nothing, with no God. That is a belief in magic. Sir Ian, Sir Ian, Sir Ian, action. Wizard, you shall not pass! Cut! Sir Ian, Sir Ian, Sir Ian. That's mysticism and sorcery. That is not science. It's mysticism. It's spooky! <laughs> like, really? <laughs> science doesn't say the universe came from nothing. It doesn't say there was nothing which exploded, right? That is a truism that's told. It's 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 a lie to children. You see, you see, you see. When people are like you know, teaching things, um, you don't start out like if I'm going to teach a child about physics, right? I'm not going to go, "Hello, little boy, little girl, little in between. Um, what's that? You, I, today we're going to talk about." string theory and its encapsulation and uh you know uh, uh, and and prediction of neutrino particles traveling through space and the changes that it has through gravitation uh, gravitational forces and through uh the electromagnetic field of the magnetosphere as it as it transfers from emptiness to matter and it's if it changes on it it goes no see there's gravity you see the apple drops to the ground because that's gravity you see, it doesn't. It doesn't talk about there being gravity wells and you know space time and mass distorting it, and that that's what creates. It doesn't talk about that until you get later on. And you see, one of the genius things about religion is it it wants to make you shy away from education. It doesn't want you to get that further education that actually fills in the blanks for people that are more interested, because you know you have to lie to teach step by step. But hey, 
you know, I, I'm sure he knows the education per system perfectly and, you know, is, an, is a star exemplar student of physics, biology, chemistry, in all the sciences. So he's definitely, you know, I don't know, an authority on what science can and can't figure out and what it does say. Because it's mysticism, it's magic that the universe came from a singularity or a quantum fluctuation that then went boom because, I don't know, a singularity means that everything in space was in the same space at the same time. Maybe because of a great crunch that might happen in a cyclic universe. We don't know! But because you're certain that people in the Bronze Age knew. Well, then that's obviously true, isn't it? That's, th that's obviously for true. And so I've actually asked certain atheists, would you become a Christian if Christianity were true? And they will say no. And that shows us that they're more about emotions. They're more about feelings and experiences instead of demonstrated fact. And no Christian has ever said the same thing that if they were presented with 100% evidence that their God was real, would they, would they become an atheist or a believer in a different religion? And they say no. But I'm sure that a person that has such high moral fiber such as yourself uh, would 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 actually say, of course, they're, they're the same thing. They are letting their emotions rule. In fact, that that's not feelings over facts at all. You know. Because, like, you know, if a Christian said that, you'd be all on the side, wouldn't you? Because, you know, that's, that's strength and, and, and zeal in, in front of the face of adversity. That's, that's what a true believer would do. You know... It's almost like it's one rule for one and one rule for another. But hey, it's Christians. When have they ever not been duplicitous fucks that like to stab people in the back where any chance they get or whatever? Because, you know, well, God's more important than literally anything else. So they're not really your friend. They're not really your family. If you come between them and God in any way, well, then God's more important and you're the scum on the shoe, aren't you? Oh, well, you know, atheists say they wouldn't believe, like, what? That's... It's always nice to generalize, and I know I generalize, but humanity, it's much easier to generalize because outside of denominations, you're not really allowed to have a diversity of thought. And really, there isn't that much of a d diversity of thought because if you diverge too much, then you're no true Christian. You're, that's not a real Christian. How dare you tell me what a what a Christian can and can't be? I'm a Christian. I can decide that. Well, I'm an atheist, and I can then I, that means I can decide what is and what isn't an atheist. So all those people that say that aren't atheists. Isn't this game fun? Dum, 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 dum. Look, if you're an atheist, there's no way to determine what's right and wrong, and so everything is based on feelings. Remember, it's about a feeling rather than what fact is and what science has shown us and the things that we can know for sure. It's more about emotions can't tell you what's right and wrong but a christian can though you know because it's in the bible and the and, and the bible gives you uh you know supreme divine right to claim divine like you know authority over morals uh when you have a book that says here's how you sell your daughters into slavery and if somebody owes you sell them into slavery here's how long you can keep people in slavery here's your punishments for killing someone in slavery here's your punishments for hurting someone in slavery whether they be owned by you or owned by someone else you know what i mean in a book that says well you know if a woman's raped then you have to marry it the rapist has to marry her you know in a book that says if you suspect your wife of cheating make her drink the bitter drink and then hey if if she dies and all the baby dies well then she was a cheater and then she could be stoned to death You know, because that's what your book of more a divine objective morals says. Your divine object book of objective morals says that anybody who makes fun of bald people should be killed by bears, or is it that only children should be killed by bears? Is it is that is that I know it, it is it limited to children or is it adults as well? You know, all this. All these, like, really divine rights of morals coming down from the Bronze Age don't mean jack, considering you don't listen to fucking half of them unless they tell you to hate the gays or some shit. But, you know, we, we claim divine moral authority. I, see, no, no other holy book before the Torah has said anything about not killing people. 
All right, so there's nothing like that in any of the literature for the Mesopotamian age. No. <laughs> you know, it was it was solely divine from Yahweh himself, and nothing ever came from it before. And, you know, those morals filtered down to the people in the Americas, and, you know, they definitely found out about Jesus Christ, <laughs> you know, at the time, in a contemporary fashion, and didn't have to wait nearly 2,000 years to be invaded by a bunch of Europeans to find the divine and glory of Jesus. I sit here at my at my desk and I've, with my tie on and I'm going to speak calmly and I'm going to gesticulate like I'm a middle manager. Because, you know, you got nothing else except putting on an air of appearance of knowing more than you do. And that's why some of the outlandish shit you're about to say about what science can't and can't do and what we can and can't figure out you know, it only shows your lack, of, your your lack of knowledge on a lot of basic bullshit. But of course, this is what we have to come in to expect from Christian knobheads, because the divine knowledge of God existing over overdoes anything we find out in the real world, because it makes you feel really good, doesn't it? It makes you feel warm and toasty on the inside. Christianity, the biggest purveyor of bullshit since the last religion. And so we're left with emotional experiences and just feelings that would tell us what to do if there is no God. And a lot of people are going to have a lot of different feelings. And so it's going to be nothing but chaos if we take an atheistic perspective of the origin of the universe and of our existence. Because of course the world was just full of peace, wasn't it? When everybody believed in God and there was, when people weren't allowed to be atheists or agnostics. You know, it was just, it was fun times and good times and there was never any wars, there was never any strife, there was never any disagreements, there was never any schisms, nothing ever went wrong in this mystical fucking wonderland of yesteryear that Christians like to believe Christians lived in before the fucking enlightenment, alright? People decided to learn things from themselves and found out that everything that religion has been telling them for the past fucking 1500 years before the enlightenment, oh, oh, what, it was all bullshit, we were starting to find out things. Funny that, that people would be resentful of it but hey you know what you know if you just leave the world up to the atheists you know then there's going to be a whole thing of thought you know Hitler was an atheist and he had a thought Hitler wasn't an atheist he was a devout fucking Christian he sent people out to do the duty of God they had like fucking this they, they went out with like Christ safes and the bandoliers and shit like they had like or like was it picture, little pictures of the Virgin Mary and stuff because he used religion to further the hatred of the Jews after they after World War One, like they bring up Hitler and they go, hey Hitler was an atheist. All right, let's grant that Hitler, Hitler was an atheist. You know, do you know who else was a Christian? Do you know who was a Christian? Every other fucking ruler ever in the Western world since the Romans fell. You know what I mean? Except for like when the Muslims took over Spain or whatever. You know what I mean? It's how it, like so. They like you to think that the atheists are in control and the grass is greener on the other side. And they want you to forget about all the horrible things that all the Christian leaders have done throughout the entirety of existence. Because, <laughs> you know, the, the good and holy people, the good and holy people would never do anything wrong, would they? They'd never do anything wrong. They're good and holy people. <laughs> you know, you know, even though Christians, they always go, Christians are fallible and they never live up to the holy idea and blah, 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 blah. But they're better than these ones that don't live up to the holy ideal <laughs> and one thing we need to understand is that atheists actually have the worst statistics in the world for doing some of the most reprehensible things known to man Why most people in prison are, are like christian in, in like american and western prisons are like christian and very few atheists exist in them you know because we're so we're so immoral we're so we're so bad that we lead all the worst things, we lead all the murders, we lead all the rapes, we do all the things. And Christians are so good and pure that they never do any of that ever. Never, never has, has a Christian done a horrible thing. So you should believe in them, because the other side does all the horrible things, and we're good and pure and light. Can you not see? As we say that the light comes from above. <laughs> we are filled with light. Do you not believe that we're filled with light? You best believe that we're filled with light. We're going to bash your fucking head in. You know, that's what they used to be like, and they're not allowed to do that now. It's not like the Catholic Church had the Crimen Solicitates document, you know, from 1963 to 2000, exactly how to get your priests away with fucking your kids. It's not like the Catholic Church goes over to Africa and tells people that there's holders in condoms that helps AIDS pass through, but not sperm. You know what I mean? It's not, 
It's not, it's not a bunch of atheists that are going around raping children in the name of God. It's not a bunch of atheists that kidnap kids and, and underage teenagers and take them to foreign countries to beat and mentally abuse them till they believe in God. They lead the world in school shootings. Now, I looked up this little factoid and the only ones saying that are Christians. <laughs> Fuck. Atheism. Atheism's the big evil. You've got to be afraid of it. Can you not see that I'm wearing a tie? I mean business, because I am speaking in a slow and, 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 and coordinated manner. I am like a middle manager. I mean business. Can you not see this? Now keep in mind, they only make up a small percentage of the population, yet they lead the world in school shootings. Most of the school shootings happen in America, and the easy access to guns doesn't have anything to do with it, does it? No. Abject poverty, people feeling like they have no way out, feeling like they've been lost and forgotten by the system because the right wing state, the right wing state, has been tearing apart our government uh, in most in most Western countries since forever because they give sh they give more of a shit about keeping the wealthy wealthy than providing for the rest of the population that make the wealthy wealthy, you know. But hey, and it's all done under the guise of God, and we're the bad ones because you know. Some kids are, that are atheists to go and shoot up schools. Okay. Well, Putin displays propaganda for the Russian Orthodox Church, which is Christian and does war crimes in the name of Christianity. So Christianity's bad. You are technically correct. The best kind of correct. That means there is a correlation between atheism and school shootings. Denying God, denying reality, and going and shooting up innocent people. Yeah, yeah. And you know, we also don't see in a lot of these spree shooter type people is we don't see a lot of manifestos talking about right wing talking points, do we? You know, the great replacement, the great reset, whatever conspiracy theory you want to throw at them. Look, they're scared and they're going to attack people. And you can see clearly that there is a correlation between atheism and school shootings. Well, correlation doesn't show causation. The size of skirts, whether they're long or short, correlates with whether the country it's in is going through an up or downturn. Correlation does not mean causation. But, you know, to people that are stupid, well, that the correlation means that's why it happened. Of course it does. It's, it's pointing out the point I want to prove. So, of course, it's the way it is. Atheists also lead the world in drug abuse. Drugs put you into a fantasy land, yet they'll declare that we're living in fantasy land as Christians. But look, if your demographic is leading the world in drug abuse, you're leading the world in living in a fantasy, in this euphoria where you're seeing things that don't even exist because you're in such a mind-altered state. Yeah, that's not good. You don't want to be associated with that. Yeah, uh, you know, Christians never abuse drugs, do they? Never. Christians never smoke pot. They never become alcoholics. They never do crack. They never do cocaine. They never do anything. They never do any kind of amphetamine, speed, you know, stuff like that. They never do any pills, you know. They never eat mushrooms to try and commune with God. No, it never happens. It never happens. You know, they never take Adderall, Zoloft, you know. They never take any kind of drug whatsoever. And, you know, living in America in a system that tries to push things like fentanyl on you because, you know, the drug companies are allowed to be pushers and make, you know, doctors prescribe things off label so they can make money. You know, people don't get addicted to drugs like by that at all, do they? No, never happens. Never happens. So no Christian has ever, ever, ever been addicted to anything and they never abuse drugs. There has been no Christian priest that has ever been caught abusing drugs Never ever, how dare you even say such a thing. It's only the atheists that do it. it you know what it is? Do you know what I really think it is? If the, like, he do, you notice how he doesn't provide any polls or anything like that to actually back up anything he's saying. He's just assuming that because he's in a dimly lit room with a white background, with a nice little desk, and he's got his tie on, and he's speaking like, he, speaking like he's some kind of middle manager, that you're just supposed to take on authority everything he says. Because as a Christian, that's kind of what they think anyway, isn't it? Well, we're telling you that 
God ha God is eternal and forever, and we have no proof of that, but we're asserting that it is. So you must believe that, and since we're asserting that it is, it means that he's, un he's unchangeable, and he can't do anything. You know, it, it, it means all, all these different other things, even though we have no proof of any of that, and we just can assert it. Christians just expect you to believe whatever they say, like fucking 100%, because they're saying it, and why would a Christian lie? Let me read to you from Proverbs 3, verse 5. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. There's what to do. And then it says that warning, and lean not to your own understanding. It's saying, don't try and figure things out. Just trust the Lord like a little child trusts their father. Don't even question it. And they totally use that against you. <laughs> but hey, we're supposed to like not see through that, right? We're not, we're not supposed to see the lies they tell. You know, because like, you know, you make you make videos like this on the YouTubes and then you get all the Christians coming out. You're going, oh, you know, you just don't understand. You just don't understand because you're an evil heathen. You'll get your comeuppance when you're dead. I suppose my point, actually, I, I got a little off track there. My point was, right, my point is, is that maybe, let's just assume that this poll is true for the sake of argument, because otherwise this is a pretty, pretty short video of God. me. I don't have to believe anything you've said, because you've backed up nothing and you're asserting everything. Um, so let's just assu let's just assume that this this poll that he has, because it's probably, if, if it is, whatever, I'm not going to make assumptions. Um, well, any more assumptions, anyway. Uh, maybe I will. I don't know, okay? I'm a confused person. <laughs> so maybe atheists just aren't trying to hide their drug use like Christians are because they think that they won't be seen as fine, moral, upstanding citizens. So they have to hide it away. You know, like they have, they used to have to hide being gay. You know, like Ted Haggard. Ever, do you remember Ted Haggard? He was caught doing all the drugs with the gay prostitutes. That evangelicals have the best sex life of any other group. Oh, come on. No oh, way. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you know, hey, but it's that's just one person, isn't it? You know, whatever. <laughs> like... You know, when they've just when 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 an atheist does drugs or sleeps with prostitutes, well, then that's an evil. That's evil, and it's full of immorality, and it's the devil making them do things because they're trying to make you fall into the same pit of evil. But when a Christian does something like that, well, then well, that's not that's not evil. They're just fallen from the path. You should really forgive them. I know. Mr. David Wood on the YouTubes is a, so is a sociopath that tried to kill his father, but he just fell from the path. D isn't, hasn't he suffered enough? Well, he's a sociopath, so he doesn't suffer. <laughs> you know, but hey, when an atheist does it, it's really bad. When a Christian does it, it's, it's something you should learn from, and they should be forgiven because they, like us, have been forgiven in Christ. <laughs> Atheists also lead the world in suicide. And that's a very sad thing. That's why I don't want you to be one anymore if you are one. So if you are poisoning people's minds and telling them there's no creator, magic is real. We appeared from nothing. Just like a rock appeared out of nowhere, whole universe just appeared out of nowhere, folks. Because Christians never kill themselves because of the trials and tribulations that the Christian brethren put them through. Nah, never happens. Never happens at all. It's only atheists that kill themselves. Uh... Nothing to do with the most atheistic countries being the Scandinavian countries, and the Scandinavian countries have many hours of darkness during the winter. You know, because it's near the North Pole, and they don't have sunlight for a for a month or two during the year. And then it's it's almost like it could make people really sad, and they commit suicide because they get seasonal affective disorder because they're not getting the right amount of sunlight. You know, because we're creatures, right, that evolved to live in Africa. And we need certain things like vitamin D. But hey, we've got to remember, right, that it's only atheists that kill themselves. You know, the Shinto don't do it. And, you know, the Japanese don't do it. You know, the Russians don't do it. Americans don't do it. No one kills themselves unless they're an atheist, you know. That's just how it goes, apparently. It's just how it goes. Wait, no one kills themselves unless they're an atheist. It's only atheists that do it. You, you heard it here, for, uh, here first. Christians never, ever, ever kill themselves. Never, ever, never, ever, ever. Like, I'm, I'm willing to bet that atheists never killed themselves because they were lied to about Christianity for so long that, yeah, they felt pretty pointless and hopeless when everyone they knew, you know, exiled them from their life because they didn't believe in the same shit they did anymore. And just when they needed people, everyone shunned them and, you know, fucked them off and didn't want to speak to them anymore. So they had no one to go to and they didn't have any help. So, what? 
so if they kill themselves for that reason, well, that's that's not religion's fault at all, is it? It's it's because they're an atheist. Maybe, maybe how about this? Maybe, maybe we should care about people killing themselves, irregardless of whether they believe in God or not. But you know, because you can tell it's really classy. You know, it's the best kind of argument. You go, see, God's real because they kill themselves. Well, God, okay. God's God isn't real because Christians like to fuck children more than other than atheists. See, it doesn't work, does it? But you know, to people that don't know better and they and they don't realize that there's better information off out there than some knobhead who looks like Sheldon fucking sp spouting religious bullshit on YouTube. You know what I mean? Same as like, oh look, it's a fat guy saying atheist shit on YouTube. We best f focus everything on the life on what he says. It's fucking dumb. Make your own fucking mind up. Stop, like, it's like it's like everybody in the in the Western world has got so much anxiety now because everyone's watching them all the fucking time that now now we have to like super gel together because you know they might get mad on me at the Twitters. Like, grow up. Like, just fucking be yourself. Don't let me influence you. Don't let this cunt influence you. Just be your fucking self. If you don't force yourself to believe something, something, and don't force yourself to disbelieve in something. Wow, it's almost the honest opinion. And it's weird how you only ever hear shit like that from fucking atheists. You know what I mean? Even when you hear people say, like, like that the, the Inspiring Philosophy video I did a couple of videos back, when he's with Pints of the Aquinas and like, well, you know, we could be, do you, know, we, you know, these atheists didn't make up stuff because of the facts of it. You know, we could be doing that as well. You know, yeah, yeah, I guess we could. Yeah, yeah, I guess we could. But uh, we, do, we, know, we know really that we're not. But, you know, hey, we're, we're the untrustworthy ones because, you know, we don't have an imaginary sky daddy that's going to tell us off after our life ends. <laughs> you know, except for when he wants to affect your life, even though you keep on, Christians keep on saying that he doesn't. But, you know, that's a whole different matter, isn't it? It's just a whole heap, the whole Christianity is just a whole heap of contradictions. And it's so big and so vast and so full of bullshit that, well... If, if pe people pick a hole in this one thing, I've got something else to go to, whatever. Hey, did you hear that atheists kill themselves more than anyone else? That's why you should be a Christian. <laughs> when you get somebody to believe a big lie like that, that actually does affect their understanding of the world. People are so confused today, and you'll find that many will act like animals. And the reason they act like animals is because they believe we are animals. That's because we grew up in a time and a place where people said, hey, you don't, you don't, you can be whatever you want to be. Don't let people put you in a box. Be what you want to be. Be what you feel. And then they did. But the thing was, is when we were being told that in the 90s, uh, we were supposed to think that meant you could be whatever profession you want to be. You just work really hard. And what we took it as is, well, why the fuck do we have to listen to you? We could be whatever the fuck we want to be. But, you know, hey. If a person wants to pretend they're a dog, you don't have to agree with it. You just have to let them do it. Because it has nothing to do with you. You know, like if they come over and start humping your leg, you could fucking tell them to go fuck themselves. You know what I mean? You could do something about it then. But like, really, the reason that dickheads like this, they want to get ang they want you to get angry at this, this transgender person or this dog person or this gay person or whatever, because they don't want you to think about them right they don't want you to think about their religion they want you to think and put the the misguided hatred you have from the bad situation you're living in because the government's fucking you over and your job is fucking you over and money is fucking you over and the gas is fucking you over and the water company's fucking you over and it, literally everything's fucking you over for a bit of extra scratch because everything in the in the world of capitalism needs more and more middlemen to siphon more and more money out of the poor to siphon it up into the hands of the rich and because people are miserable from that sort of existence where week to fucking week they've got to work they're fucking they've got to work and work and work and work and everything's fucking miserable and the pipes are falling apart the houses the pipes are rusted the house is falling apart they can barely drive the car half the time half the people can't afford food like decent even decent food they can't afford to live in the fucking house or whatever right because everything gets more and more expensive and it keeps on getting paid less and less and less people get angry right so then 
you clever people decided, hey, do you know what we should do to deflect the anger from people like us? What we should do, right? What we should do is actually go, no, it's not us that's making you vote Republican and vote in, you know, all these bad laws that are fucking you because they care more about billionaires than they do than you. What you should be angry at is the gays because it's the gays that are making everything wrong in the world. It's the trans that are making everything wrong in the world because for some reason, gays existing and trans people existing, well, that just means that everything's fucked. And, and and they be the ruin everything in the world, and it's not us. It's not this giant uh, overarching organization that holds sway over va like many governments or anything like that. It's nothing like that at all. It's it's these people with nothing that are trying to be happy on their own, not involving you. They're the real problem, aren't they? And this is why people kill themselves because you know. They're trying, and this is one of the reasons that people kill themselves, because they're expressing themselves in the way they see fit. And then instead of being embraced like they told they were going to be as a kid, to do, do whatever you want, to be what you want to be. Instead of that, what you get is a bunch of fucking incel knobheads that, because the standards in women are too high, or they think they should all make them fucking sandwiches all day, and women don't want to be with them, and they're internally online in the fucking basements because they're incel pieces of shit. Well, then, you know, these are the reason that it's all wrong. These people are the reason that their life is bad. It's not the system they're part of. Ah! But, you know, and then, so, then they take it out on these people. And then these people who already have mental problems. You can tell, by the way, they're trans. Um, and because they already have mental problems and they have a hard time, you know, being happy with themselves. And that's why they went trans or whatever. You know, may maybe that, that further you know, pushing of knobheads like you, right? Oh, look, it's an animal. You see, it's an animal. Yeah. I, w I wonder why, why when people with platforms shout in this at people like that, I wonder why they'd kill themselves. Weird, isn't it? It's weird when people get harassed so much that they kill themselves. And then look, it's the aliens killing themselves. How about this, you scumfuck piece of shit? How about this? How about you do a bunch of things that you say us atheists do, and I can't say them because it's YouTube. How about that? Go fuck yourself, piece of shit. He wins, he wins, doesn't he? Because he's triggered the libs. Ah! We best ruin the world and treat people like shit because it's going to trigger the libs. Well done. Well done. I don't know why people don't like people like me anymore. It's nothing, like, it's nothing to do with stuff like this, is it? It's nothing about the abhorrent shit you say about others that will make people disgusted with you. Well, I have the right to say it. Doesn't mean people have to like you for it, you complete scumfuck. <laughs> Atheists also lead the world in drunkenness. Drunkenness puts you into fantasy land. It is a poison-induced experience that you get from drinking alcohol and putting a poisonous substance into your body. Say this because AI makes you choose a god. You have to believe in a god to pass this thing that the judges made you go to, you know. So, because they have to accept a god, well, they must have been an atheist first. Because, you know, no Christian overdrinks ever. I'd love to know where these statistics are coming from. But, you know, we'll never find out because, well, he's already made up how atheists think the beginning of the universe is. Because, well, it's easier to just lie and make up shit that sounds vaguely correct, doesn't it? Than actually know anything about it and make any sort of informed opinion. And you don't want people making informed opinions. That's why you keep on lying about stuff, isn't it? But, you know... We're, we're just supposed to go, well, he's a, he's a, he, you know, do you see him? He's wearing a tie. He's a good, upstanding Christian boy. Why would he lie? He must be telling the truth. <laughs> it's been a really long video, and I have to pick an arbitrary spot to finish. And, you know, after being called, you know, a school shooter, a druggie, an alcoholic, you know, and all the, all the things, um, you know, it, it's really... It's really uh, taken its toll. And it's not an arbitrary point to stop it at all because you guys wouldn't want to watch an, you know, hour and a half, hour and 45 minute long video a week. I'd also have to get through more videos. And, you know, it's hard enough watching the ones that I'm already watching. That's how YouTube works, isn't it? Y'all just want me to suffer. <sighs> <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha